All right, and then so for our final question, it will be an opportunity for you to make some closing remarks and then to uh, address the one thing you wish we would have asked a question about that we did not. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 got, I got to figure the question. I have, I, have, I, have, I have no clue what you would have, what I wish you would have asked. Uh, relative to closing remarks, yeah, Dave Shostokas. Uh, I just relatively quickly, uh, I'm sure most of you enjoyed magic when you were children. I enjoyed magic as a child myself. When I was 11 or 12 years old, I used to uh, have a magic show. And this is to uh, help you kind of remember. We used to open my magic show with Hocus Pocus, the great Shostokas. Okay, so for those of you who cannot say Shostokas, just remember Hocus Pocus, the great Shostokas, okay? Because uh, people have some challenges with that. Uh, regarding, And I wish you would have asked me to do a magic trick, I guess. Uh, which I'm not prepared to do. But at any rate, uh, it is a very serious office, and uh, we want to do this uh, seriously. We want to finish up seriously. As uh, they said, the Illinois Attorney General is elected by you, unlike the United States Attorney General, who is appointed by, serves at the pleasure of the president. Elected by you, meaning he does not represent the governor, the Department of Public Health, the Department of uh, the Board of Elections, the Board of Education. He represents you. And in fact, that's in fact what I will do. I've done it before. I've had the opportunity to represent the people of the state of Illinois. I want to have the opportunity to do that again. Thank you very much, David Shostokas. You know, I wish they would have asked the question that everybody wants to know. How do we get back on the right track, right? You know what the answer is? It's not me. It's not either one of these men sitting here. You know who it is? It's you. I've been pounding that drum for two years. Over and over and over. Thousands of hours of my time rattling that cage of the people. Because you're the only ones that got the answers. You're the only one that can get this state back on path. We may not have the same philosophical beliefs, a lot about of things. That's okay. But when we allow a governor to rule like a tyrant and we sit by and watch and don't fight back, we're in trouble. That's opening a Pandora's box. What makes us great is that we're in charge. We're always in charge. If the people are wrong, guess what? They're still in charge. And when you have a governor that disrespects that and you have an attorney general who promotes it and supports it, the people got to take over. My constitutional law professor told me once, he said, Tom, in your life, if the Constitution ever comes under attack, there ain't no branch of government going to save it. You know who's going to save it? It's the people. And I believe that. I wear it on my arm. It's not because I'm up here telling you that, trying to get elected. And let me tell you this. If you think you can just vote for either one of us men and then go back to living your lives, we're going to fail. We're going to fail. And if you would want to vote for me, and then you're going to go back and do whatever it is you've been doing in life and not stay in this fight, don't vote for me. I'm not interested because I know that I need you. Your government needs you. All of them. Republican, Democrat, Independent, I don't care. They need you. And if you vote for me... I will help and make sure that your government operates the way that the Founding Fathers set her up. And the rest of it, I leave in your good hands. Thank you. You know, we're in a serious crossroads here in Illinois. Are we going to continue living under these high taxes that we have? Crime that's out of control. Corruption that you see every single day. We can't continue to live like this. We need changes. And we need to make this happen right now. We can't wait any longer. We talk about this red wave. okay? But this red wave is only going to happen with all of your help. We need all of you to go out there. Talk to your friends. Don't just talk to your Republican friends. Talk to your Democrat friends. Talk to your independent friends. Talk to your friends that are sick and tired of paying high taxes and getting nothing for their money. 
It's time that we get something back for what we're doing, for what we've been sacrificing for Illinois. We need safer streets. We need a government that's going to work for us. I think I am the person that's going to be able to do this. I fought the fight against Michael Madigan and his machine when I ran against Lisa Madigan 12 years ago for attorney general. At that time, it wasn't a popular thing to do, but I knew it was the right thing to do. And I'm going to continue that fight. And I'm going to fight to make sure that our streets are safe again. We can't keep on going out there thinking, I don't know if I want to send my kids to the local mall. Because what if something happens? We can't be afraid to leave our homes. This is the United States of America. We can't be thinking like that. We need to make sure that we elect people that can talk the talk and put people that are committing the crimes in jail and be protecting all of you. And I do believe that I'm the right person for that. And just last thing I like to say is, you know, I did receive the Daily Herald endorsement that did say that, you know, I'm the only one that can be elected in November. So thank you so much.